Good morning, YouTube. Today, hope y'all are doing good, but today we are going to be working on uh, getting rid of the void in our live scope. So uh, anybody who, well, I think most people have that void um, or have since the new updates. Uh, one of my friends, uh, Scott Bradshaw, got some information from the Garmin rep and they, uh, Scott did this and he said it worked great, fixed a lot of his issues. So today we're gonna be doing that. Y'all stay tuned. So guys, if y'all would hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you hadn't already subscribed and uh, the bell for notification. We put out new videos every Thursday for sure and a lot of times on Mondays, especially during the summertime when we can get out a little more. Uh, we're putting out two videos, sometimes three videos a week. So make sure you uh, get notified when that happens, all right? So let's get back to this and let's see if this thing fixes it right after this intro. All right, guys. So, uh, so basically, here's the instructions that I have, and I'll I'll put this out. Um, I'll, I'll, in fact, I'll I'll do a screenshot right now of this, and then we can put that out on the video. Uh, and I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna see what I can do about recording it. I uh, don't know if I'm gonna be able to record the entire thing, uh, just because uh, we may have to do a couple things um, in here that are gonna stop that. But um, yeah, let's let's get to it, man. See what happens. So. See, we're going to reset the sonar defaults back to factory settings. Let's try it. Y'all don't need to see this. We can do this. So, uh, menu, sonar. Install, restore sonar defaults. Do I really want to do this? Yes, I do. Okay, transducer is facing, now it's telling me which way it's going. It's facing forward, okay. Yes, I like that. So let's see what the next one is. Restore sonar, yes, recalibrate the compass. So now we need to recalibrate our compass. So that will be under, uh, let me see, sonar setup, uh, install, I believe. Yep, use ASAR or AHRS, that is on, calibrate compass. All right, guys, so I'll calibrate this compass. Y'all can just kind of watch here because uh, I know I'm not gonna be able to record this and we'll see what happens. Turn the boat one and a half times in either direction. Turn quickly, but keep the boat level and steady while doing it. All right, begin, Woo. I may be going a little faster than I'm supposed to, but See what, I'm getting dizzy already. Okay, our compass is calibrated. So, let's see what's next. Put my spot lock. Turn the auto ghost reject to auto. Okay, so let's go back here. Ghost reject is on auto, I got that. Uh, turn the color gain to approximately 50. All right, that's gonna be under appearance. And color gain, right now set to default. So I'm gonna drop it right there to 50. All right, done. Okay, let's see. Turn TV, TVG off or low. See what I have that on. Sonar setup. Uh, TVG is off. That's fine. I like it off. Noise reject to off. Right now, noise reject is on medium. Turn that to off. And turn the color limit up to about 53. So that will be, where is that? Appearance. Color limit. Okay. 
53. Okay, turn the gain up to approximately 68. Whoo, that's low. Okay, all right guys, so I did everything that it said to do. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll go find, we'll go up to this boathouse right here. Let's just take a look at it on Active Captain, see what needs to be done. And you know what, better yet, let's, uh, let's go out to some trees and we can mess with it from there. All right, I'm gonna get moving now. Life jacket on. Sorry about that, I had to go try to catch a fish. My gosh, dude, where's the sun? It got hot a while ago, and now it's cold. Okay, so let's see what we got on. Let's go find a, a tree. I got rain coming. shut this off real quick start over I may have to golly that trolling motor has some oomph now connected yeah there we go I'm in now all right so I got got this rolling so let's just take a look and see so there's my tree out there at 35 Let's uh scroll in a little bit. There it is. Get it about fifteen, ten, fifteen out. Okay, now, boy, there's a big fish on there, too. All right, it's going off the side of me now. Okay, well, I'm going to be honest with you. It looks like my void may be gone. So uh, let's go ahead and bump my gain up a little bit. That's not what I want. Gain. Pop my gain up. Find my tree. Guys, I think this has disappeared on me. I don't want my depth, I want my forward range. It's looking at 20 foot. There's my tree. Let's go menu, depth, lower it down, back, back. See what, well, let's go to forward range. I'm gonna do my forward range a little farther. And let's mess with that color again, no, the color limit. Let's see, that's going to be under appearance, I believe. That color limit, let's pull that down a little bit. Okay, back. Um, what else did I want to do? Noise reject. I want to do my noise reject on high. Oh yeah, it clears it up a lot. Guys, this seemed to be, this fix seemed to have worked. I'm kind of excited about that. Um, I will definitely post that out here for you guys, but my void has all but disappeared. Um, there's still a little bit in there, but it's not like it was. I uh, still got to do a little messing with the settings to get it perfect the way I want to, but right now I am not missing that little area that I used to, the 10 to, four to 10 foot range. It is there, I'm seeing it, and hey, 
Y'all give it a shot. Hopefully this works for you. Scott Bradshaw, thanks so much for sending that in to me and uh, fixing that issue. So hopefully it will help other people. I'm not going to guarantee it will work, guys, but just write down your settings prior to, to doing these factory resets. Um, you know, just it's a good idea to do it anyway. Uh, have an idea where you uh, want to start from. But that right there gives you a good base starting point. And uh, yeah. I'm excited, man. Thanks so much for watching the video, guys. Hey, if y'all haven't done so, hit the subscribe button and uh, just the bell for notification. We put new videos out every week, sometimes twice, sometimes three times a week, and uh, it allows you to know when we're, uh, when we're doing it. So I appreciate it. Y'all have a great day, and we'll catch you on the next episode.